Hey everybody, hope y'all doing well today. This is my review for the new Walking Dead show, Walking Dead Dead City. Uh, the name of the episode is Old Acquaintances. Uh, it begins with Maggie peering into uh, New York and just kind of getting a look-see. And, um, then she gets attacked by a walker, and I guess she must have been looking there for a few days and been weak, because usually, you know, a character like Maggie, take out a walker in no time, but, uh, yeah, she struggles a bit. And then, the next thing you see, she's at this little, like, Motel 6 type place, and, um, yeah. It's like almost like the world hasn't ended because, you know, you've got electricity, you've got a bar. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's not a commonwealth. Then you have the chick that's uh, on Picard. Uh, at least for a few minutes, she gets the shit beat out of her. Uh, she ends up getting killed uh, not too long into the show, but it's wild to see somebody from Picard on a Walking Dead show. And then of course, you get Negan. Uh, and she goes to find Negan. And this young kid that's with Negan. And, um... Yeah. Um... I don't know. I, I want to like this show. I've, I've, this episode gets better as it goes along, which is a good thing. But it just seems a little convoluted here at first that... Uh, well, it doesn't, it doesn't. The world does change fast. I mean, you know, at the first this year I'd been at a job that I liked in the beginning and it grew to hate. And I've been there eight years and now i got another job. <laughs> I'm quitting that job and I may have another job. So yeah, the world can change very quickly. But, uh, it just seems like the change that happened on this show from uh, they say this show set like two years after the last episode of the main show which the last episode of the main show the last little bit of it was a time jump a year later so more or less three years after most of the events of that still three years you know in a world um, decimated by the dead I just don't see you know, a, a functional government and, you know, marshals and all that shit and fuel, like, she's just driving around, you know, in a big old, like, uh, suburban, like, at least just build up a dang S10, uh, don't drive something that you're gonna have to fucking find fuel for every five minutes, uh, yeah, she tracks to deal with the devil, and, uh, I don't know. The Marshall's part, I guess, is what's gotten me. It just seems like it's not been quick enough, or it's not been long enough, and, you know, like, they seem like, oh, they've been doing this a long time, which, where? Where? <laughs> you know? They hadn't been doing it anywhere around their main show people. Uh, but then, the, the it gets better once they decide to go to New York. It's almost like a uh, uh, escape from New York <laughs> type deal. You know, they kind of get dropped in there. Of course, they drive themselves in there in the boat. But, uh, you know, they run into all kinds of craziness. And, uh, that I really enjoy it. You know, if it's a dead show, you need to get some dead in it. Um, but, yeah. Um, the Croat seems like a terrible, seems like a terrible villain, but you know what? The Walking Dead villains are terrible. I mean, they're so much better on the page. Than they ever are on the screen. Uh, I mean, like the governor, he's wonderful in the books. 
He's just despicable. He makes you hate him. The governor on TV is like, yeah, he's a dick, but he's just, you know, there's no reason for Michonne to hate him like he does, like she does. <laughs> Versus in the comic, you know, yeah, he ties her up and rapes her, and it's just really terrible to, you know. And he makes Glenn listen to it, and Glenn's all fucked up from, li you know. That gives you a reason. Uh, but uh, and speaking of Glenn, you have a aged up Herschel. Uh, but that's the way they should have done. And that's one thing I like about this, is and that's the. People always fuss about Carl. And, well, you know, Carl, they should have had a different actor for every age. Every time they did a time jump, they should have just said, sorry, your contract's over. This person's going to play Carl now. Because you just can't have, you can't. it's not the 1980s and 70s, you can't have a 40-year-old playing a 16-year-old just doesn't make sense. Uh, I think the Croat character is kind of silly. Uh, maybe he'll be interesting, but he's been on so many other things, like uh, 12 Monkeys is the only one that's coming to mind. But uh, he was a savior, at least they say, so we'll see what happens uh, with that. At least this first season of this is only six episodes, so you got... You know, if it's if it's good, it'll leave you want more, and if it's bad, at least it's not that much time wasted. But we got five more of these, so I'll do one every week. They all won't be this long, but this was because it was the first. So yeah, we'll see you all next week.